everyone, welcome back to Star Bulletin. I'm Ganti Maharani and I will accompany you for a couple of minutes ahead. So today's news will be about the civil war that happened in China from 1927 to 1950. The Chinese civil war happened between the Chinese Communist Party and the Nationalist Kuomintang Party, which is the government of the Republic of China happened between 1927 to 1950. Both parties fight for the access to law and rules in China, basically to control China. It all started after the last empire led by Puli, the four years old emperor, collapsed. The two parties, which are the Nationalist Kuomintang and the Communist Party, then formed to control China. The Nationalist Kuomintang Party was founded by Sun Yat-sen, then it was led by Chiang Kai-shek during the civil war. On the other hand, the Communist Party was led by Mao Zedong. So now we will have William A. to explain more detail about it. Back then in 1927, hatred to both sides was tense, making the civil war to happen. The Nationalist Kuomintang wants to get rid of the Communist Party CBC. The Kuomintang had successfully killed a lot of CBC leaders, but Mao Zedong was able to lead the CBC up and make them able to fight back. Civil, the civil war lasted for 10 years from 1927 to 1937. The tension between both sides are so strong. Mao Zedong was trying to defeat Kuomintang and Chiang was trying to take control of China but by eliminating the CPC in 1937. There was a time where Mao had to stop attacking the nationalist Kuomintang. The long march happened for one year. Both parties traveled around the world looking for help. The long march stopped started with 80,000 soldiers, but only 8,000 soldiers made it back. In 1937, during World War II, Japan invaded China. The, both the Kuomintang and the Nationalist Party of China united together to fight Japan from other countries as well. Thank you, William A. And next, we have Elwin, a history expert who studied on the civil war in China. Thank you, Rani. Hello, I'm Elder Sananta and I'm a history expert who studied about the civil war in China. So in the World War II ended in 1945, both sides resumed their civil war. The Nationalist Party was supported by America, while the Communist China was supported by the Soviet Union. The Communist Party launched an attack of Northern China with the help of Soviet Union by lending them weapons. In the meantime, US tried to gain peace by suggesting them to split into two different countries, but both sides refused. Both sides want to control the whole China and eliminate each other. In 1950, the CPC has successfully defeated the Kuomintang Party. China was then under control by the People's Republic of China, which is led by the CPC. Then the Nationalist Party Kuomintang fled to Taiwan and built their government there called the Republic of China. Thank you, Elvin. That was a brief explanation from William A. and Elvin. As what they have explained, the civil war in China is the major issues going on in the world in that time. So now we have a video to show you. Here you go. After the war, people's life have not improved in China. Massive economic problems occurs and the government financial policies were chaotic. The homeless and starving filled city streets. Black market and corruption were widespread. Even worse, in 1947, floods in the south destroyed the rice crop. In result, people don't have enough food supplies and poverty were widespread. Due to these problems, the United Nations agency sent millions of dollars. 
Some countries like America are sending vast quantities of war supplies and also money. The effect of the world is that due to the declining economy, China cannot export goods and the trading between countries were delayed. Countries who usually receive goods from China wouldn't be able to receive it in a while until their economy are recovered. Alright, that's it for today. I'm Yeti Marani signing out. See you next time and have a good day.